this movie will be about connecting to the virtual desktop to our remote server that will allow you to run Photoshop from home. Uh, you can't run Photoshop on your Chromebook, but you're going to use your Chromebook to connect to the school's network. And then once you get connected, you'll have a, a tab in your browser that will be just kind of like a computer at school. And you can run Photoshop in that browser tab. And I'm going to show you how to get connected. And then in other movies, I'll show you what the assignments are and how to do those. But let's look at how to get connected. There will be a handout posted on Google Classroom. It will be this handout right here. It has all of the steps that I am about to do. They're all kind of spelled out. So you can pull up the handout and use that to help if you need it. And so here we go. Let's look at how to connect to the remote desktop so that you can use Photoshop or any of the other um, Adobe Creative Cloud applications. I've opened a new tab and I'm going to go to the address horizon.plainfield.com dot k12 dot in dot us all right long address there it is horizon dot plainfield dot k12 dot in dot us it's on the handout over here all right so let's hit enter and let's go here's what it's going to look like when you arrive at that first stop there's a choice on the left and a choice on the right it's a horizon uh, client or a Horizon HTML access, and we're going to use the HTML access over on the right. So we're going to click over here on the HTML access. When you log in here, this is just like logging in at school. You use the same username and the same password as you would in my lab. All right, same username, same password, log in. When you get past that screen, you're going to have a choice of two things, the, the Adobe server. And this one over here is for Project Lead the Way. And we don't want that one. We want the Adobe server on the left. So we're going to click here on this one. Now, this is where the waiting game kicks in a little bit. It's going to start signing you in, logging you in. And you're going to have to wait, and it's going to depend a little bit on your Wi-Fi connection and how fast your internet is and those kinds of things. But it could take us a minute and a half. It could take two minutes. I'm not sure exactly how long it will take for you. For me, it's been about a minute and a half. And what's going to happen, I'll try to kind of keep talking you through this as the time ticks by. Eventually, you're going to see the desktop appear. And but but you don't want to do anything right away. You have to wait. You have to be patient. There are going to be two windows that are going to pop up. There's our desktop. Our desktop has appeared. And there are going to be two windows that pop up and we're going to use them both. Um, but we again, we have to be a little bit patient here. We have to wait and uh, see what happens. And I'll show you. I'll talk you through it here. This is this browser tab now on your Chromebook. That's like you just logged into a computer at school, right? You just, it's like, almost like you're sitting in my room and you turned on one of the stations and you logged in. Now here's our first window that's popping up. It's an Adobe Creative Cloud window. You can see Adobe on that window. Don't do anything yet. Just let it, just gotta wait. Just gotta be patient. Don't do anything yet. Here's the second window popping up. This is a, a Chrome account, a Google account window. Now, one thing that's true about this whole signing in thing, every time you connect to our remote server, you have to go through these steps. It doesn't remember you the next time you come back. You have to do this every time. All right. So what I'm going to do now with this Chrome window that's popped up here, that's the one that's on top. I'm going to sign in to my Google account. So I'll click sign in right down there near the middle of the screen and this this is like you've done this before this this would be your redpride.net email address now mine looks different mine is jarvin at plainfield and you know teachers have the dot k12 dot in dot us you have at redpride.net all right well use your at redpride.net um i'm going to go to next here and it's going to ask me for my password. Well, same password as what you always use, right? For everything that you 
sign in on at school, and I'll hit next there. Now, when it says link Chrome data to this account, I always say, and if you get this firewall thing, don't worry about that. I'm just going to dismiss that. But on this uh, link, link your Chrome data, I'm going to say link data. That's going to help pull up all of your like bookmarks. And, and I'm going to say turn on sync to turn on sync. I'm going to say, yes, I'm in. So those are the answers to those questions. And it's going to pull up all your bookmarks. And if you have like a theme set and things like that, um, there they are. So now I've signed into my Google account. And really, I could go ahead and close this window for the time being. All right, I, you know, I could minimize it and I might use it later, but I'm going to go ahead and close this window for the time being. Now we get to that second window that had popped up. It's the Adobe sign in window. And all we're going to do there is continue with Google. All right, we've already signed into our Google account. So I'm just going to click continue with Google and it will go to work here. And it's going to say you're all set. It should. And really quickly here, pretty quickly, it's popped up with the Creative Cloud Desktop window, which you've seen before at school. A lot of you have used that to like start Photoshop. Um, so I'm going to that this this Creative Cloud Desktop is kind of in front of this. So I'm going to click on this Adobe ID window that says you're all set. And I'm going to go ahead and close that that I'm kind of done with that for right now. So I'm going to close it. And then again, a little patience is required here because this is this is loading up all of the Adobe Creative Cloud apps. And it's going to look a lot like it does when you're at school, when it finally gets done loading everything. All right, so we're going to just hang in there and we're going to be patient and let it do its thing. It's working. You have to kind of follow these steps pretty carefully and keep the sequence, uh, you know, in the in the right sequence. Keep the steps in the right sequence and should be okay. All right. So now the Creative Cloud Desktop app has loaded, and it. If you see this message about uh, Creative Cloud, an update is available. Just dismiss that. Yeah, you don't need to worry about that. There's a welcome to Creative Cloud. Now, this this message here about 183 fonts were activated. That's because I've turned on a lot of fonts in my um, Adobe account, so you might not even see that. All right, um, welcome to Adobe Creative Cloud. You can click OK on this, and then this should look familiar. This is what you see at school when you fire up the Creative Cloud app. You can open Photoshop, right? Now, I'm not going to open Photoshop yet. There's something else I'm going to show you. So I'm just going to come up here to the top right. You've got these buttons up here for close, maximize, and minimize. I'm going to minimize uh, the Creative Cloud app for a moment. Let me get rid of a little menu down here. It's, um, it's down on the taskbar. And remember, this, this browser tab right here on your Chromebook, if you're using your Chromebook, this browser tab is almost like a separate computer. This whole this one tab is like you just hooked up to a computer at school and you're looking at the desktop on your computer and you got these applications. And OK, now the other thing we're going to do here real quick, and I think this is a really good idea. Um, down here in the bottom left, there's this blue icon that says Drive File Stream. I'm going to double click that and I'm going to fire it up. Now this is going to be another sign in thing. So sorry about that, but it, uh, it's going to sign you into your Google drive. And when we're doing work in Photoshop, it's going to make it a whole lot easier to save your work. All right. So we're going to come up here and we're going to go, you, you would put in your redpride.net email address. Remember mine looks different than yours. I've got the plainfield.k12.in.us, but yours is your redpride.net. I'm going to click next right there. It's going to ask for your password. It's the same password that you use for everything, your Chromebook and everything else at school. All right, so I'll put that password in. And you'll see a little box here that says Google Drive is loading or attaching or some, some kind of message like that. And you'll probably see this box says, Welcome to Google Drive File Stream. And this is just kind of showing you some features of this thing called file stream. You can close this window. You don't need to keep it open. And then another window is going to open. And the one thing that could be kind of useful information for you here when you're doing a Photoshop assignment is that um, the, your, your Google Drive has been assigned Drive G. 
right? I'm pointing to that right now. So when you go to save something that you're working on, you can make sure you save it on drive G. When you're connected here to the remote desktop, drive G, that's your Google Drive. And then that's going to make it easy for you to turn things in. You'll know where it is, right? You, you'll know where to find it. It's on my Google Drive. So the Google Drive is drive G. And that's if I sign into this drive file stream. All right. So I'm going to just go ahead and close this window. I don't need to keep it open. So now, and this is about the end of this movie, now I would be able to open Photoshop and go to work on whatever the assignment is of, of that day. And that is another movie. Bye for now.